In this video, we will be talking about Firebase Firestore database and we will also show the demo of how to implement easy, simple task management application using this database. Firestore is a cloud documented database from Google. It supports mobile, web and server. It is real-time, meaning that you can synchronize your data in real-time across multiple devices. It has offline support meaning that you can store data even if you don't have internet connection and they will be synchronized to the server once you have the connection. It is NoSQL document database. Data in the database are represented by JSON-like structure and we call them documents. So each record is one document as a JSON and documents can be stored in the collections, which are the containers for the documents. Each document can have attributes. These attributes can have primitive types, for example, string, number, boolean, and so on, or the complex. It can be nested object or the array of the objects or primitive types. The documents can have also attributes of advanced types like timestamp and geopon, which is the difference between the normal JSON stru structure and the structure of JSON in the Firebase database. Let's now speak a bit about the data structure for the SQL and NoSQL databases and what's the difference. You are probably familiar with the SQL approach that you have tables and you have uh, attributes and some relations. In NoSQL database and especially in the Firestore database, we do not have relations, but we can have nested objects or relate via uh, attribute link. What is nested object? For example, here we have document user and the user can have addresses and these addresses they can be nested objects in the array so we have array of the objects this would be hard to do in the uh, it, this would be hard to do in the relational databases but for example postgresql already supports something like that then we can have also documents that are related to the other documents via link of the attribute so here we have user with ID and here we have task document with user ID attribute. And then once we search for the tasks for this particular user, we can find them by this ID.